I've decided to hang up my skates, leave the rink and return to the turf and I wish the show the best of luck for the rest of the run. He told the Sun. Fans blasted the horse racing correspondent's hot voice over last weekend and begged for bosses to sack him, with one even claiming he sounded like a drunk uncle. Matt had spent months learning the moves and the 12 contestants, comprised of Brooke Vincent, Kem Sedene and Donna Ayer, in time for the first show last weekend. I've decided to hang up my skates, leave the rink and return to the turf and I wish the show the best of luck for the rest of the run. Matt told, he is a big character and a talented sports commentator but he had some mixed reviews in the first show. And he told ITV that perhaps it WASNT for him after all. The source claimed that after Sunday's show, Matt told bosses they would need to find a replacement for the rest of the series. ITV are now on a desperate hunt to find someone to fill in for him by this weekend. Matt, who previously worked on the racing post and at the races, donned the sparkly headset for the first time. But DIDNT quite reach fans' expectations on. One tweeted, Not sure about the new voiceover guy. Sounds a bit like a drunk uncle at a wedding speech. While another said, Commentator was a bit odd. No one could ever be as good as Gubba but at least try to be sort of like him. Matt stepped into the shoes of former BBC sports commentator Tony Gubba who had been in charge of leading the dancing show since its launch in 2006. The hit Ice performance show returned after four years away, and fans were delighted to see hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield firmly back where they belonged. X-Factor alum Jake Quickenden immediately shot to the top of the leaderboard after an impressive first performance with partner Vanessa Bauer while Baker Candace Brown fell flat after an anxious first try, and found herself in the dreaded skate-off, which will take place next weekend.